today in the kitchen we are going to uh, put together a lantern and a lantern swag and you know for I want it to be I've been thinking do I want it more Christmassy with all the red and the green and the whole to do or do I want to be able to take it further into January maybe and are with a few tweaks I can take some pop some things out and keep it going for winter so that's what we're gonna do now I had great visions of a winter wonderland here in the kitchen so winter wonderland it is and let's see what we can start with the lantern is going to be first welcome to ebony ivy and time where we work hard we love God and family, and we know that everything else is just gravy. Here in the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time, we do things in the kitchen for the kitchen. Your refrigerator top is prime property for lots of eye candy. I love beautiful tablescapes, don't you? A beautiful centerpiece says, we knew you were coming and we're so glad that you're here. In my kitchen, meal planning is important. One plan, one month, one shop. We are going to think about winter. And uh, in addition to thinking about winter, you know, with winter and the cold chills, that Christmas is not far from being right around the corner. So today we're going to work on a project. And if you're interested in what I'm going to do, stay right there because it's going to be fun. This is one of my lanterns that I deconstructed and I've taken out all of the fall and taking off the swag and uh, so we are going to put all the fall away and put it off to the side so that we can take care of that and get it stored and then we're going to work on our lantern now this particular lantern is going to be going in the bay window so we want to uh, make sure that it coordinates between the two. All right, so we can take a look at our lantern and what you'll see is that I have attached a swag and it's not really a swag. Let me show you what I did. This is my box of all of my tools in case you can see that. But I took a piece of white garland. I use my garland for everything, fluffed it out and kind of folded it almost in half and attached it to the side of the, of the lantern. Now in this lantern, I found the perfect size lamp. And that's exactly what I mean, a lamp that is going to sit inside this lantern because it's in the bay window. I like having a light that shines and uh, you know I shine that light all day so we are going to uh, dress this up and uh, I put in some little lights and I want to carry my black and white check also throughout this project not I'm really not sure where I'm going to put the black and white check in this but we're going to work through it now think winter wonderland Lots of white, lots of silver, uh, lots of sparkle. So let's start. All right, I had to pause a little bit because the big guy came through and was just keeping up way too much noise for what we wanted to do. But while we were quiet, I added in some silver, some white. You can see the little snowballs that are in. And I love this pearl. It's a pearl ornament that I wanted it front and center. 
And like I said, I've added in some silver. Now, I may certainly go back and add some more, but I haven't done that just yet because I want to also add in a little bit of some uh, little icicles to hang. And I'm going to put those in because remember, it's all about winter. We need our little icicles. And as I, I know I'll find more and more. So when I'm doing the tree, I will add more to our picture here because I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do on the tree that's going to be on the table with it. And uh, so as we make that adjustment, we can make those changes, but we're getting some things started already. So let's put this one here. And I know I have some silver snowflakes. Hmm. I'm gonna have to put those in. All right, now in the kitchen, you can see that I'm using a flocked uh, wreath and I'll try to put a picture in but it has a little bit of buffalo check and in my window my kitchen window I also have buffalo check the curtain as well as in the wreath I have buffalo check pillows in the room so we're going to be adding this is going to be interesting because we're going to add buffalo check into this wreath. You know, we're gonna take that buffalo check up, we're gonna kick it up a notch, take it to another level. Now I have this beautiful uh, snowflake ribbon that I found at Costco. And you can see all the little glitzy snowflakes. Well, we are gonna be using this to put together a bow. So that's where we're gonna start. So let's start here. And I think I want to be a little subtle with the buffalo check maybe in this particular um, swag because you know how I like to use, use my swags and sometimes come back and reuse the swag. So first what I'm doing is that I'm putting the the little, what I call the legs of the bow that are going to drape down. There's one. I'm also going to add a little bit. That's where I'm going to put in the buffalo check. A little bit in. I cut one for that. You know, we have to be able to make adjustments. That, that leaves me a little bit to play with. And let me dovetail it while I'm here. Might as well do that. So that's two. And I have some of this. And I don't know if I'm going to work it through. I'm just not sure what I'm going to do with this. So I'm not going to put it in with, well, you know, I may. We'll see. Let's, we'll see. We'll put that in last. All right. So this is where we're going to start. We're going to start here with the buffalo swag and the, so that we can get those in. I know exactly where they're going to go because that's where my bow is going to go, right there. And I'm going to use the pieces of the garland to lock that in until I'm ready to put the, the actual bow in. And you notice I'm putting the, the white with the silver on top with just touches of the buffalo swag, of the buffalo plaid going through there. Just little touches, just enough so that you know that that's what we're doing. So I've got that part. Now, let's talk about the bow. I think I want the bow to be predominantly white and silver. So, I need some silver. 
Okay, I have my silver, and my silver is pretty sheer. So I'm going to actually start with the snowflakes. We're going to use that snowflake ribbon. I'm going to make uh, four loops. Let me see how large I want those loops to be. I think that'll be large enough. Bring that in. Take it this way. And I'm going to drop this on the floor so it will just feed. All right, so we got one, two. I have to twist it and fold it over. One, two, three, four. We have our four loops. And then we'll twist. Okay? Now, that's where we're starting. Hold on one second. Now, I have my Bodabra handy because... I want to be able to sit this down while I work and think, because that's what you do. You work, you think, and uh, you try to get it to where you want it to go and make sure everything's even, and uh, so that's what I'm working on at this point, making sure our loops are pretty even and that they'll look good. Okay, now. I think what I'm going to do in this top for now is that I'm going to add in a strip of the buffalo chip. And it's not really there to make a loud statement. I just want it there to add bits of color in the background. So let's put that right there. Okay, now, so I need a little, you know, we have to work with what we have, and some things are coming very quickly as far as supplies, and some things not so much. So, let's go with our next bow. We need uh, four loops of our silver. So, I'm going to start. We got four. I think I'll start it this way. And because of the fact that I like twisting it anyway, even though it's the same on both sides, because it just uh, makes it easier to fluff later with those little twists. This was also from Costco. Costco had a fairly nice selection. I think Sam's and Costco usually carry uh, ribbon this time of the year. So that's always helpful. Okay, and let's do our last twist. That's number four. And cut. Okay, now I have to decide where I want this silver to go. And I'm thinking I'm going to put it in the background so it adds a little sparkle. Let me look at that. So that gives me some silver. Gives me some of the snowflakes, silver, snowflakes. 
snowflakes have pieces I need to dovetail. You can never have enough little ends when you're dealing with a, a swag. You want something that's just going to draw that eye. There we go. Now, I think that's going to work. So let me, uh, I'm going to secure it with a, a zip tie. And then we'll get it onto the wreath. Zip tie. I always pull mine back to the back so that it's not as visible. I'm going to real good tie back there in the back as tight as you can get it and then we'll clip. Okay. Now we will fluff more once we get it on our swag. Now, I also think what I'll do is that when I'm putting it in, because I want a little bit of this to go down, I'm thinking I may get another piece. I have some more of this so that we'll have some of that. I think I'm going to put that in the middle. Okay, now where I secured the tails, I'm going to unwrap, open it up, put the bow in with the addition, and secure it back. Oh yeah, that's going to do exactly what we want. That's going to add all kinds of little goodies to our bow. Now you'll see that buffalo check is right there in the center. Here's our snowflakes. Here's our silver and all kinds of nice sparkle. And it's tight enough that we can tug and pull. See what we can do. Now I'm going to take some of these and I'm going to secure it with some of the little ties. Tuck it in, give it a little twist. Okay, there's one. Okay. I'm going to this in. I'll tuck it in. Oop, lost one. It's okay. I'm going to bring them in. Give them a little twist. I always move the icicle. I think I want that to go somewhere else anyway. Where'd he go? Where is he? Yes, and okay, there he is. Right there. Okay. And that's going to be there. Let's find it. We'll find a spot for him. Because I think. I might put him right there. Hmm. Or find another one. We'll see. Because we have to think about, we're going to be looking at this from all directions. Now, my buffalo here. I'll find a little spot to tuck him in. Right there.
And I think by the time we finish, you won't even know that I want this, whoops, you know, I have to secure it. I'm giving these tugs because I want it to stretch. Okay. Now, let's get over here. I need a little bit to swing this way. So I'm going to Come in right there. I'm going to go behind that snowflake, I mean that icicle. And I do want that icicle to hang in such a way that it's very visible, so I'm going to move it. That's a nice thing about these things. You can move them. And I think once the lights come on this, everything is going to light up. And remember, we have a lamp that's going to go inside of this. Okay. And this... And this, and I'm going to do a little twirl here. So we got a little bit there, and a little there. Let's see. I can bring this, give it a little twirl. Turn, 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 turn. Give it a little turn as well. This gonna be there. Okay. Now let's see what else we can add. Now, before we go any further, any further, please, if you have not already hit that subscribe button, please do that. And if you are already a member of the family, mwah, I hope you are having a, an absolutely wonderful fall because we've got so many things going on around us with schools and work and family and everything. We have to make time for those things we love. And that includes, of course, family, friends, and decorating and cooking. So, I hope you will join this family because we are certainly all about all of that. And we do a little chit-chatting along the way. So, please take the time to stop by at least three times a week because that's how many times I upload typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm right here at 9 a.m. in the kitchen. So, I'll see you soon. Now, I have some very beautiful ornaments that are in this mix. And I'm going to take some of them and I'm going to put them back here because I just want uh, a little bit of sparkle back here. And remember, I'm using the branches to secure. And, uh, but as I look, I see some spots where we could stand to have a little more bling. I think we could have a little bling there. that goes. And bring this out. I think 
you know, you just kind of have to play with it. And if it looks like it's going to lean on you, then you might have to actually manhandle it a little bit. Okay, so there's one. There's two. And we want to be able to see these nice little snowy branches as well. Three. And got some more. I like this one. Let me stand back. We got one there. Where should we put this one? Maybe one about there? Okay, let's find a spot. Unfortunately, for these little lights, I tried to find white. Could not find a white light. Not at that time when I was shopping. So uh, we are just going to have to live with it. Got a little green. This one right there. Now, all right. Now I'm going to take this over. I'm going to get the lamp put into this um, put into this lantern, and we're going to turn the lights off and take a look and see if we need to do a little tweaking. I'm showing you where this lantern is going to sit, and this is its location. You can see the little pop of buffalo plaid you can actually see the lamp that is inside. Now this lamp stays on the table, but by the time I get it wrapped in some snow and maybe even a little bling wrap, you'll never know. But the swag itself, which usually takes the most time, and of course it would be a sunny day today, but the swag itself, has a very wintry look. And the little lights that are in this swag probably won't show up until tonight. But the tree is there. I'm just about ready to work on it. And uh, as I told you before, the curtain that's behind the tree and the lantern and this table, that's going to be gone. 
we're going to have it open so that those who are outside they will see our winter wonderland and I've even thought about maybe if I can find them I have some little um, icicle lights I may even put those up but you know what even though we are in the midst of a pandemic we can still enjoy and have life as it may be a little adjusted but we can still have joy joy in our hearts joy for God and our family be thankful for every day that we wake up and uh, that God has granted us another day so I am so glad you came into the kitchen with me today because this has been fun. I had been wanting to play with this lantern and kind of get it started and get motivated. And you know, when things are a little different, sometimes it's hard to find that motivation. But we're started. I like it. And uh, I can't wait to get over there on the other side. But it's still just a bit early yet. So I think I'll wait till November, which is just around the corner. So stay tuned because there's more to come. Now, I hope that you have had an absolutely wonderful time right here in the kitchen of Ebony Ivy in Time. And I hope that the rest of your week is blessed. And I hope that you will come back and continue to be a part of this family because it's here where we work hard. We love God and family and we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. And you know, here in the kitchen that we decorate where there's cooking and conversation and that we do things right here in the kitchen for the kitchen. So come back.